Eric is the new block-based editor for WordPress. With the update to WordPress 5.0, the Gutenberg editor will replace the classic editor that we previously used to create blog posts and pages on our websites. In this video, I'll be walking through the differences between the classic editor and the Gutenberg editor, and I will be contrasting these two side by side so you can see the differences for yourself. So let's get started. So here we have the Gutenberg editor on the left and the classic editor that we're used to on the right. As you can see, the Gutenberg editor is quite different in terms of layout. It has what are called blocks to create content. So these blocks are really just different types of content, such as paragraphs, images, videos, all separated into chunks. Whereas in the classic editor, we only had one space for all types of content. So let's go ahead and put a post title into our classic editor. And in the Gutenberg editor, it's very obvious where we're supposed to put in our post title. In the classic editor, to change the permalink, we would click this edit button and then we can change the URL here. And in the Gutenberg, we click into the title and a toolbar pops up where we can change the URL. Additionally, you can also change the permalink in this permalink section in the sidebar. So just expand this section and then you can change the URL below. So let's go ahead and put in our text in the classic editor. In the Gutenberg editor, I would click into the first block we see here in order to put in my text. This turns it into a paragraph block, a type of content block. Um, back in the classic editor, we see that all of the text formatting tools are in the toolbar above. And in the Gutenberg, similarly, you click into the block and a toolbar shows up with text formatting options. You also have additional settings in the block tab in the sidebar where you can change the font size and the color settings. Back in the classic editor, if I wanted to put in an image or a video, I'd go to my add media button and then choose from the list that's provided. In the Gutenberg, I'd have to create a different block in order to put in an image or a video. So I'd go to my add block button in the top left here and clicking it just pulls up a whole list of content types that I can insert into my post. One of the really handy ones is the columns tool. And when I click it, it just allows me to separate my text into different columns. And as you can see, these blocks are very good for um, having more control over layout options and to do more formatting of your posts. And if I wanted to put an image in, I'd go back to my add block button and then choose the image. So I can put an image in from my media library or I can upload one on my own. So after selecting this, you can see that similarly to the paragraph um, blocks, a toolbar pops up in which you can do formatting. And as well, we have additional options in the block tab to the side uh, where we can put in alt text, change the image size, and add a link to the photo if we want to. Now, if I change my mind and decide that I wanted this block um, to appear sooner in the post, I can move it by hovering over the block and you'll see this little arrow on the left here that says move up. So by clicking it, I can move this entire block into my middle section of my post. So you can see here that just sits in the middle there. And additionally, if I decide I don't want this image anymore, I can select the entire block and then go to the more options button here. Um, and then I can just remove this entire block by clicking this button here. So that is the basics of using the blocks in the Gutenberg editor. You can play around with the rest of the block types that we didn't go through and see what's there, but generally most blocks are inserted and edited the same way. So the last thing to note is that all of the post settings in the classic editor have been on the right, such as the categories, tags, and featured image. And this is the same for the Gutenberg. Uh, most of the settings are under the Documents tab in the right sidebar, except for the Publish settings, um, which are set to the top here, where we can save draft preview and publish our post. So that wraps up our quick walkthrough of the new Gutenberg editor to give you a general idea of the differences between it and the classic editor. I hope this walkthrough has been helpful to you. Thanks for watching.